Hello everyone, I'm in and I play with drones and quick video today on the big winners in the new drone rules, namely the mid-sized drones like the Air 3, the Air 3S, and as I said, other mid-sized drones. Look, last week I did a video outlining big changes to the drone rules in the UK put out by the CAA, which included the introduction of new UK numeric classifications, with new drones coming to market this coming year, supposedly supporting the new UK 0 to UK 4 mark. And of course, this is a huge change in the rules for these mid-sized drones. Under the new rules, you can now fly drones like these in way more places, like towns and cities, just as if it was a small sub 250 gram drone, like the Mini 4 Pro or the Mini 5 Pro. Of course, this is a huge change, and it really opens up where you can fly these slightly larger models. As once you're up high, you no longer have to keep any horizontal distance from uninvolved people on the ground, as long as it's not a crowd. But as ever, it is not straightforward, and there is still a ton of confusion still out there. People unsure how their older drones are affected, along with some bad advice being given that is just plain wrong. So that's what I wanted to try and clear up today. First off, let's just recap the actual rule that now opens things up for models like the Air 3 and the Air 3S. From the 1st of Jan 2026 until the end of 2027, you can fly drones marked with a C1 label as if it had a C0 label, meaning you can fly them as if they were a mini drone. That's clear enough, so now the less clear points. First off, time limit. Yes, the rules stand at the moment that you will only be able to uh, fly these C1 label drones until the end of 2027. From Jan 2028, they're relegated back to open countryside if we have not been able to get them reclassified with a UK1 uh, label. Uh, may happen, nothing's been announced by DJI yet. Second point, this only applies to drones marked with a C1 label. So if you've got an older Air 2S, uh, the original Air 2S's did not have a C1 label, um, or an Air 2, or any equivalent drone that does not have that C1 label, then the new exemption does not apply, and you cannot fly these like you're flying uh, the C1 label drones. Annoying, but that's how the rules stand. So for this particular Air 2 question, as it has no C1 label, he is stuck to flying in open countryside. Thirdly, uh, larger drones like the Mavic 3 Pro and the Mavic 4 Pro that are still over 900 grams and therefore fall into the C2 category. Well, they don't get the new exemption and they can't be flown like a mini drone. They remain stuck in open countryside unless you have an additional level of certification called the A2 Certificate of Competence. And so it is this last point of having the A2 certificate that affects things. And this is where it gets even more messy. And it really is a mess. And this is why people are getting so confused because of stupid intricacies like this that no occasional hobbyist flyer could be expected to know, which is really what frustrates me uh, so much about some of the CAA's rules. Here goes, look, holding the A2 CFC did allow you to fly larger model drones in congested areas like towns and cities, as long as you kept a 50 meter horizontal distance. Now that has changed. Now, if you hold the A2 CFC and your drone is marked with a C2 label, like the Mavic 4 Pro is, then you can now fly in congested areas, but up to 30 meters from uninvolved people, which is obviously better than 50. Further, if your drone has got the, and you're using the slow mode, uh, slow speed mode of uh, three meters per second, you can actually fly to within five meters horizontal distance from uninvolved people, which is closer. But if your drone does not have a C2 label, even if it is a smaller old drone like the Air 2 or the Air 2S, then the A2 CFC exemptions are unchanged and you're still stuck to staying at least 50 meters horizontal distance. So, to put all this mess simply, if your drone has got a C1 label, like the Air 3S, you can now fly in congested areas for two years. If your drone is larger and has a C2 label, you don't get this new exemption, but if you have the A2 CFC, then as before, you can fly in congested areas, now up to 30 meters, and if you're using the slow speed mode, then you can actually fly up to five meters, as long as it's got the C2 label. If it doesn't, then you get nothing from these new rules, except the requirement to put a green flashing light on if you are flying at night. So look, there you go, clear as mud. I really do love these new exemptions given to the mid-sized drones, but I still wonder if things have to be so complicated and messy, especially given the reality of just how many or how few incidents there have actually been with drones. But look, there we are, as ever, I don't make the rules. 
Anyway, look, that's it. Heading up to the Lake District now for some fun in the mountains and snow. So do me a favor as ever. Hit that thumb up button for me, please. Better still, drop a comment below. Feel free to rant if necessary. It's always good to see what you think. Hopefully, this has cleared things up for these bigger size drones. Especially if you have got a C1 Mark drone, then happy days for you. Either way, until next time, have fun. Happy flying.